Hi friends, welcome back to SS Engineers Group. Today we are going to discuss about how to set up milk processing plants at your farm. SS Engineers and Consultants recommends all the milk farmers to get prepared and start setting up their milk processing plant for value added product preserve store and increase their business with profits. Before we start I request you to subscribe our YouTube channel SS Engineers by clicking the subscribe button mentioned below. Milk Chilling Center To enable milk procurement directly from the farmers. The first operation in a dairy plant is reception, chilling and storage of milk. Chilling is necessary after receiving milk at collection or chilling center. The milk may arrive at a chilling center or dairy plant in cans. After unloading the cans, the milk is weighed with an electric scale, the data will be captured in the system. Every farmer's milk is tested for its quality fat and SNF. The dump tank will be located under the weighing bowl to collect the milk. It is work as a balanced tank for milk, in between the weighing bowl and bulk milk cooler. Further the milk is cooled down to plus 4 degrees Celsius in bulk milk cooling unit. BMC is a large storage tank that holds milk at a cold temperature until picked by milk tankers. SS engineers and consultants have designed three modules of milk processing for the farmers to choose based on their milk production capacities. Farm level milk plant, basic type. In this module, the farmer after the milking will collect the milk in balance tank through screen filter. Then transfer the milk to refrigerated vat to cool it to 4 degrees Celsius. While cooling the milk immediately after milking the bacterial growth will be retarded, and the milk remains fresh. The milk after cooling to 4 degrees Celsius, is transferred to a float balance tank. Which further takes it to a packaging machine, to pack the milk in plastic pouches, with batch date and time. The packaged milk is then stored in bottle cooler, till it is sold out in the market. This plant is ideal for farmers producing 500 liters per day. Farm level milk plant layout, basic type. Bulk milk cooling unit. Milk transfer pump. Overhead float balance tank. Pouch packing machine. Process flow chart, reception of milk through cans, platform way scale, milk cooling in bulk milk cooling unit at plus 4 degrees Celsius, milk transfer pump, overhead float balance tank, milk sachet filling machine, end consumer. The milk obtained through cans is weighed on platform way scale. A small amount of milk is taken for testing to check the percentage of fat and SNF. Further the milk is cooled down to plus 4 degrees Celsius in the BMC. It takes approximately 3 to 3 and half hours to cool the milk. Now the milk is fed to the overhead float balance tank, and then to the packaging machine. The pouches are stored in the milk sachet cooler to maintain the temperature of milk at plus 4 degrees Celsius. Now the milk is ready to sell. SS engineers and consultants have vast experience, expertise in dairy, food and beverage industry. Food manufacturing and packing is never an easy job, it contains hundreds and thousands of tasks. But, with SS engineers and consultants, you can now make it the easiest way. One stop solution for the milk processing plant machinery along with plant designing and products consulting from our highly skilled dairy technologists and engineers. Farm level milk plant, medium type. Here the farmer can pasteurize the milk with the help of batch milk pasteurizer, standardize the milk fat with the help of cream separator. The pasteurized milk is packed on the same day to improve the shelf life. The farmers in this type of plant can process the milk up to 1500 to 2000 liters in a day. The farmers can also produce ghee through the milk cream, which is attained while standardizing the milk fat. For this process you need the following equipment. 
farm level milk plant layout, median type. Bulk milk cooling unit. Milk transfer pump. Cream separator. Batch milk pasteurizer. Milk homogenizer. Float balance tank. Pouch packing machine. Process flow chart. Reception of milk through cans. Platform waste cable. Cooling of milk in BMC at plus 4 degrees Celsius. Balanced tank. Milk transfer pump. Batch milk pasteurizer. Pasteurized milk storage tank. Overhead balanced tank. Milk sachet filling machine. Sachet cooler at plus 4 degrees Celsius. End consumer. Same as said earlier, the milk obtained through cans is weighed on platform waste scale. A small amount of milk is taken for testing to check the percentage of fat and SNF. Further, the milk is cooled down to plus 4 degrees Celsius in the bulk milk cooling unit. It takes approximately 3 to 3 and a half hours to cool. Here the milk is pasteurized by using batch milk pasteurizer, here cream is also separated. Milk is homogenized to break all the fat particles into even size, and later the milk is stored in pasteurized milk storage tank. The required amount of milk is fed to overhead float balanced tank, and then to the packing section. The pouches are stored in milk sachet cooler, to maintain the temperature of milk at plus 4 degrees Celsius. And now the milk is ready to sell in the market. These types basic and medium are the model plants which every farmer can afford to set up at their farm level. This helps them retain milk quality, hold the milk freshness up to require time till they sell same in the market. Milk processing module. Milk is poured to the weigh scale tank. The milk after weighing enters the dump tank which is located below the weigh tank. The milk from dump tank is then sent to the raw milk chiller through SS centrifugal pump. The raw milk chiller cooled the milk from 35 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius in an hour through the help of chilled water circulation through SS plates. Here the milk is stored at 4 degree temperature till it is further processed. The chilled milk from the storage tank is transferred to the HDST pasteurizer supplied by SS engineers. The milk is heated in two stages in the plate pack pasteurizer from 4 degrees temperature to 75 degree temperature on heating the milk at 75 degrees. Homogenization of milk at two stages with high pressure is done to attain the uniform structure taste of the milk. This process is called standardization of milk. The milk is kept on holding for 15 seconds through the holding coil offered with the pasteurizer. Here the pasteurization process is complete. The pasteurized milk after holding is then rapidly cooled to get the temperature of 4 degrees. The chilled water from the ice bank tank is circulated in the pasteurizer to cool the milk. The milk shelf life increases to 48 hours through this process. The pasteurized milk is then transferred to the milk storage tank for further packaging. The pasteurized milk can be packaged in food grade plastic pouches in different volumes as per the consumer demand and thus can be stored in cold store room at plus 4 degrees till they are being consumed or sold in the market. Farm level milk plant, large type. Type large is a commercial milk. Here the farmer can buy the milk from other nearby farms to process and pack it as liquid milk and other milk-related products. The capacity of this plant is 3,000 liters of milk can be packaged. You can standardize the milk fat by removing the cream and this cream can be processed either to butter, butter oil, or ghee. Farm level milk plant layout, large type. Bulk milk cooling unit. Milk transfer pump. Cream separator. Balanced tank. Milk pasteurizer. Milk homogenizer. Milk storage tank. Balanced tank. Pouch packing machine. Process flowchart. Reception of milk through cans. Platform way scale. Bulk milk cooling unit. 
milk transfer pump Float balance tank Milk pasteurizer Pasteurized milk storage tank Milk transfer pump Overhead float balance tank Milk sachet filling machine Milk cold stores at plus 4 degrees Celsius, end consumer as discussed earlier the milk obtained through cans is weighed on platform weigh scale. A small amount of milk is taken for testing to check the percentage of fat and SNF. Further the milk is cooled down to plus 4 degrees Celsius to retard the growth of bacteria in the bulk milk cooling unit. It takes approximately 3 to 3 and half hours to cool down. Now the milk is pasteurized by using high temperature short time pasteurizer to heat the milk up to plus 80 degrees Celsius hold for 15 to 16 seconds and cool down quickly to plus 4 degrees Celsius. Here in this unit the high pressure homogenizer and online cream separator are interconnected. The separated cream is converted to butter or butter oil. The pasteurized milk is stored in the horizontal milk storage tank. The required amount of milk is fed to overhead float balance tank and then to the packing section. The pouches are stored in milk cold stores to maintain the temperature of milk at plus 4 degrees Celsius and now the milk is ready to sell. Entrepreneurship Opportunities National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development under Dairy Entrepreneurship Development Scheme provides assistance for setting up a dairy enterprise. It aims at promoting activities like production, procurement, transportation, processing and marketing of milk by providing back-ended capital subsidy. Eligibility Farmers, entrepreneurs and groups of unorganized, and organized sector, dairy cooperatives, Panchati Raj institutions etc. An applicant will get assistance for all components but only once. More than one member of a family can get assistance, provided they set up separate units, with separate infrastructure at different locations. Pattern of assistance Back-ended capital subsidy at 25% of the project cost, the general category and at 33.33% for SC, or, ST farmers. Entrepreneur contribution for loans beyond 1 lakh rupees 10% of project cost. Back loan balance option to keep watching our videos on our YouTube channel and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Keep watching SS Engineers and Consultants.